Welcome to RC Koptelav. Today I want to fly like an eagle with my M4 and here are a lot of trees around here. There are trees, everywhere are trees and I'm using them as living obstacles like real helicopters that are flying between houses, that are flying to forests, over forests, over trees. Um, landing everywhere. That's the beauty of helicopters that are giving us so much freedom. We can land on a very small piece of earth and then we are up and we can fly like eagles, like birds in the, in the sky. Let's see how it works and how it looks. It's a bit uneven here because it's a natural path, so no asphalt, no concrete, everything nature. And first I will have a look, little look around. Maybe we do at once a circle high up in the air, like the birds of prey are doing when they are looking for thermal, thermal. I love to observe this and I see the moon is there uh, but I have to go a little bit down to give the moon a kiss. Am I closing in to the moon? <laughs> yes. Yes? Yes. Oh, that was the kiss from the M4 to the moon and it's at the same time a kiss from me to my wife she's standing on the camera in very difficult conditions because it's sunny and she is filming my M4 mainly with intuition because she does not see anything <laughs> on her screen because the sun is and she sees her own face that is what she sees and that is something beautiful so um, let's fly over here. I wanted to close in a little bit further, but I have to go back with my M4. And now I want to show you what I mean with flying to and between obstacles. There were two birches. And now I'm trying to come down here. In this end, I see there's a window between two trees, the green trees with the needles. I'm flying first to the one to, to show you. It's like a pointer. This is the first tree. And over there, we have the second tree, the green tree. I'm now in front of them. And I want to fly between them. It's a little bit risky because there's wind and it's very difficult to see when the trees in the background are beginning. So this is the tricky in these conditions with this light. It's even sometimes better to see distances when you are, when you are having um, a day without so much sun. The sun is blinding us. And now we do a counterclockwise circle, like a bird of prey looking for thermal. There's a lot of wind up there. And I want to fly in between these two rows of trees. You see them over to the left. There are these trees and the trees that are beginning earlier over to the right. So I'm flying now with tailwind, what I don't like a lot because it's difficult because the helicopter reacts very strange. I wanted to say bardzo, it's the Polish word for very. Very strange in keeping the altitude. For me, it's much, for anybody, even with a plane, it's much more nice to fly against facing the wind than with the wind from the tail. But what can I do? I have almost all the time wind from our left. And so every time I'm flying to the right, I have tailwind. So that's just something that is 
here almost 400 percent and I can try of course to close to these trees on the right side from a different angle because it's always better to see the distance and the silhouette of the helicopter from the side than to see it from the back. For me it's much easier for you watching this video it's much much easier to see the video going up from the side than from the back because the back and front perspective are the most difficult so it is sometimes in the beginning I sometimes really had difficulties to uh, to um, see if the helicopter was facing me with the tail or if it was facing me with the front with the nose so now we are going closer to these trees up and are going high so I'm not afraid anymore from flying high because the practical thing in flying high there are no obstacles there's only sky and the sky gives you gives you uh, unbelievable freedom there are no obstacles the only obstacle and difficulty is the wind is more gusty and you don't know exactly how gusty is the wind up there because you are standing on the ground so I love that there are so many obstacles here we can once again close into the sky uh, to the moon I want to close into the moon my wife has to tell me if I'm on a good way ah yes I'm almost covering from my view she's standing a little bit beside me but I think what <laughs> we are <laughs> getting, oh, wants to high wants to low now <laughs> it is really not easy with this wind um, it's not so crazy like the last few videos when I um, was filming really in extreme winds uh, and my wife was was with me and we almost uh, the microphone the sound of the wind in the microphone was so loud that we didn't uh, uh, hear the helicopter at all standing here in a few meters distance once again this circling searching for thermi thermal this is something I love very much. By the way, the circles were the most difficult thing for me and I think for every heli pilot because you have to all the time control the speed, you have to control the lean angle, you have to control with the collective pitch if you are losing altitude or if you are gaining altitude. So there is a lot of focusing and now it's time for the landing. I have to be now concentrated because here this ground we are on the natural path is very uneven so I have to really have a good look where I'm bringing the machine down so that she's standing somehow even additional the wind doesn't make it easier but it worked. This was flying like an eagle with my M4 I love helicopter flying. I love the freedom a helicopter gives you that you can really stand on almost every place you can bring this machine down. You don't have to have an airfield. You don't have to have an airport with an asphalt uh, track. You can land and start everywhere and you can use everything as a training method. Trees, um, rivers, you have seen ditches. I was flying into ditches. This is something great in helicopters. And I hope you to inspire you with a love for helicopters. This was RC Copter Love. If you like our video, give us a like. If you like it very much, please subscribe to our channel. And I hope to see you again. Bye.